Some exciting news today. We got ourselves a new fish, and here she is. Got a nice blue tang, got a drip acclimating. Figured I'd do a quick little video for you guys if you've never acclimated a fish before. Maybe it's your first time, maybe it's your first saltwater fish, maybe it's just your first fish in general. So, what we'd like to do is go right into the display tank, and you get a piece of airline tubing. And I like to put a little needle valve on it. So with the needle valve you can control the flow of the tank and let it drip into your specimen container such unless you have like a Tupperware container or anything like that. Use a piece of plumbing fitting this way they're not super stressed out they got somewhere to hide in and uh, you could also do the knot Let's do it a little easier. You do the knot method sorry a little tongue tied and that'll make a drip also um, besides that, that's uh, usually drip acclimated for somewhere around an hour, sometimes two hours. Um, make sure they come up the temperature correctly, all the salinity is the same. Uh, freshwater fish is a little easier, you can float the bags for say 15 minutes to a half hour. Dump, dump all the water out because you don't want to cross contaminate and then stick them right in your tank. So in salt water, we do it this way. Make sure the salinity all comes up to the same. All the parameters are going to be the same when they go in the tank. This way they're not in shock. And uh, just scoop them up in a net. This way you don't put their water into your tank. I'm not saying that the source is bad, but better safe than sorry. You don't know if someone's using copper or anything like that. And you don't want that stuff getting in your rock. So, yes, and you can probably see the pony on the back. It was my daughter's birthday. This is her birthday present, her Dory. She always wanted Dory. <laughs> So blue hippo tang's always been a favorite. Then also when you're at the store, not a bad idea. You go pick up some nori sheets. It's great for their immune system. Got an algae clip here. So it's right now it's soaking with a little bit of uh, Kent's garlic stream. So tries to promote um, their appetite and build up their immune system. Algae is wonderful for your hippo tangs or any tangs and if you guys are growing sea lettuce you could use that it's pretty much the same stuff so I figured I'd give you guys a quick little update so <laughs> we'll talk to you soon and I'm gonna get this fish in the tank <laughs> 